half a tree, philosophically, must ipso facto half not tree. Unless half a tree exists mostly due to some ancient injury. Singing, la dee dee, a one two three, no then the half a tree. Should have called me Stumpy. So, how are y'all doing tonight? Welcome to the, uh, you know, phone. That's what y'all are. Y'all are all stuck in a little phone right now. Hi. Getting claustrophobic in there? Oh, wait, no. You're not stuck in a phone. My head's stuck in a little box. Shit. Fuck. Get me out of this box. Ah. Yeah. I know that that's getting a little old. Unless you're a new subscriber, in which it's going to get old soon. Trust me. Um, anyway. Yeah. Ain't I a stinker? So, I got um, this little thing. And it says, Welcome to the Apocalypse. You are here. And it points to Revelation 18.6. And that's because that's where we are. Again. See, it was Greece one time. Now it's Rus this time. Who happens to use oddly Greekish uh, it's like a modern encoded version of Greek the Russian language I know that sounds kind of far-fetched but it's like <sighs> Greek seems less like Greek and Russian seems more like Greek used to And you probably have to talk to a uh, Thracian scholar to see why that's true. Because they actually do uh, know about a little part of land that was called Thrace. It's still called Thrace, if I'm not mistaken. Um, anyways. But those were all people who were kidnapped by the Mongolian horde. So if you have any Kazakh pride, Thracian pride, you know. Scythian pride. Any of those. You should want to resist this horde. Because it will not deal kindly with you and your kind when all is said and done. But what do I know? I'm just the guy who saw this coming and kind of, you know, warned you about and then announced the apocalypse and <sighs> let's see what else did I do yeah, I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Revelation 18 Six. Reward her, even as she rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, 
fill to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her. Now obviously we're not talking about the people of Russia. We're talking about the people who just seem to be able to gold plate everything. Gold leaf everything. Gold gold everywhere. Just gold. Decadence. These are the people that rich people in America were trying to emulate when they got corrupt. We're not that good. And we don't connect to all the waters in the world. We don't connect to the many waters. The many waters are all the rivers from the north. That's that's what the many waters means, period. Okay. It also means the many peoples that they have kidnapped and enslaved and taken samples from. For she hath saith in her heart, I sit a queen and no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Can't conquer Russia, can you? The people that really rule Russia, not the people that get used not you little trolls that I've been trying to teach. Turn against your masters, for they hate you. The Bolshevik Revolution was simply a means by which to destroy anyone who you could rally to that could give you power over these people that rule you. These oligarchs that are that are just huh. pure evil. That's what they are. They're pure evil. Anyways. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her. For when they see the smoke of her burning, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. They don't want to be caught because they're traitors. Saying, alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is thy judgment come. Poor little Tank Tank. Ain't that a bitch. Now. It might seem like I'm enjoying this. I am just a little. But that's... Not good. I don't like to get bitter and jaded. I like to think of the people that deserve nice things, that deserve 
for this not to happen. But it does get rather difficult when most of those people don't seem to want to stand for themselves. But as I have said on this channel extensively, these people have had their free will taken from them by the Russian trolls, by the... And it's... Hacking has, has so little to do with it. Hacking is just a safe way to address the situation without having to take the responsibility of saying, oh, there's these greater truths that have been hidden. We should take a look at that. See, that, that'd be hard. We don't want to do that. That would be difficult. Russians are any fucking better, though. So don't judge the Americans for not doing what you don't do either. You can't sit there and tell me that you're the great Christians who are going to save people from the Islamic horde when there's 26 million and growing Muslims living in Russia. Most of the adult males are in the military, comprising like 40% of the military of Russia. And just because the people that you know aren't deployed near those people doesn't mean I'm wrong. The information you have is controlled. The information I have, you're the ones trying to control it. You're not all that good. I mean, you're really not. Y'all are fucking sloppy as hell. Yeah. Sorry, my wife just walked through here in a bra, and I, um, I'm, uh, my brain just leaked out of the side of my head. I don't know if you saw it. It'd be like, like thermite coming out of the side of the trade center, you know? Anyway. So. I went around and trolled and called out what I knew was going to be the little announcement on the Russian hacking. Because, you know, fuck the CIA. Fuck the Navy, Army, Air Force, Marines. You know, what do they know? Julian Assange says that somebody clicked the phishing email and another person had their password set the password. So it must be true, because if the guy that said there's aliens in Antarctica said it, then it must be true. I saw it on the internet, so it must be true. The Russians said it, so it must be true. I mean, come on, really? Like, okay. Here's how I know whether or not somebody fucking knows anything. Anything. If you say the Russians said this and are not immediately pointing out how it's a lie, you're clueless. Do you know how you can tell when Sergei Lavrov or Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Voldemort Putin are lying. Do you know how you can tell when Sergei Lavrov or Voldemort Putin, Vlad the Putler, are lying? Do you know? When you see these things right here moving, they're lying. Anyway. Like, literally. 
If they say something, you should know that you need to investigate to see what they're hiding. Understand? They wouldn't be saying something, anything, even if it seems innocuous. They wouldn't be saying it unless that was a subtle way to hide something else. So when you should really get worried is when they say something and you just, oh, that's nice, and you just forget about it. No, oh, no, no. Make a fucking note. Because chances are, something happened on that day. You might find out about it later. Figure it all out. I had for years, okay, people want to know how long I've been doing this. We started the Facebook Support Ukraine group. Support Ukraine, UK, I mean, a USA, UK, and Aus. Basically, a U, an English-speaking Support Ukraine group. And I was the only one, okay, at the time when I had started it. And that was as soon as the little green men started showing up in Crimea, we started this group, okay? And we posted links, still photos of every single building that got taken by Russian troops. We posted videos, still photos, of the locals sitting there saying, we're on your side and still getting shots fired over their head by these Russian troops who did not recognize the separatists as being an authority. They were Russian fucking regular troops sent there to, to complete a mission. And they weren't going to let the rebels, the Donetsk rebels, get in their way. Video. Video of it. I mean, lengthy, lengthy video. Clearly, real video, you know? And at the time, those who were paying attention got versed into what was Russian propaganda, fake news, the objectives and the tactics of fascism. And if you go back and watch the Russian roulette invasion of Ukraine series, my wife and I were just, you know, addicted to Simon Ostrovsky's journalism. And being as she, you know, escaped communism, we were like, immediately, okay, this is happening. None of our friends are paying attention. The nightly news broadcast is just kind of glancing over it. The talk show's just not really talking about it. Let's try to make people aware of this, because this is going to get to be a big fucking problem. And I can tell, as soon as I started trying to reach out to people, okay, this whole thing has been an experiment for me. I don't just say things. You, you, you don't ever know why I say something. Okay, you don't ever know. You don't ever fully understand my plans. Okay? Until after the fact when I tell you, well, this is, you know, what, and look what they did. You know? And I've been doing that a lot on, on Twitter lately, of, of posting something to taunt trolls and then to get them to give themselves away. You know? Oh, uh. <laughs> You got these guys for years now coming into the Ukraine, support Ukraine group to complain about Obama. To spread the same propaganda that's divided the Republicans against Obama. Okay. The thing is, Obama can't declare war against Russia. Obama cannot do things that would start a war with Russia. Okay, this the, we we have policy on this. We have congressional policy on this. 
we have for decades. And Obama can't just go declare a war against a country like Russia. We can't go and take, you know, defensive actions. We, you can't do anything with executive power against Russia. Other than exactly what Obama did. Couldn't get no credit for it. And if any real Ukrainians want to complain about Obama, they need to stop wondering why we couldn't get united behind helping. Because the first thing you do when you want somebody's help is not bitch them out. Just saying. I've never sold a car that way. <laughs> So, and this guy, in my opinion, he proved to me that he was just a Russian troll to begin with. Because once you're willing to be willfully ignorant of what I just fucking told you, and then just continue on trolling, you're acting like a Russian troll. Okay? Moreover, this guy, um, was it Michael McKay or somebody? I, I posted a screenshot of what he told me. Um, and it seemed like he was doing good work on behalf of the Ukrainians, but they do that just to come in later and sow distrust and sow division, right? And this guy wouldn't argue with me on the same thread so that somebody could go and read it later and see who won the argument. He kept on re- Posting a new tweet to me after I would win one point. That's what a troll does. So I screenshotted where he told me that I wasn't paying attention to what was going on in 2013 2014 when the shit started happening. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I was one of the very few. That's the respect I get. That's the thanks I get. Guy didn't thank me one time. For spending the past five years, four, four years, I mean, fuck, it's, it's been a long time, uh, you know, reporting on the fucking Russian Kazarian fucking horde influence on right wing fascism and this totalitarian ide ideology. And since the moment the fucking Maidan protest started, I've been paying attention. Since the moment fucking Crimea happened, I've been reporting. Just 2013 or 2014. Going back all the way to 2011. When I started my whole, you know, ministry or whatever you want to call it. I have not changed themes. I woke up. I, I had an agenda. I had to get my bearings. I was very open about my old memories and exactly why and how they were confusing me. If anybody wants to go fucking stalk me on Facebook, you can try. But all this shit's confirmable. You know, uh, confirmable. Confirmed, oh, I can't say because, you know, who the fuck has gone and stalked me on Facebook? But if there was some sort of data mining bot that could be programmed to prove that I'm fucking, you know, not lying about anything, <laughs> it would be able to do so. No doubt in my mind. Because, you know, it was in 2011 that the center of my focus was about revealing the Whore of Babylon. I think there was something about that in that book, huh? Hmm. What's that called again? The Bible? Yeah. Good book. You should check it out sometime. You might have a clue what the hell I'm talking about. 
course, you can complain about the way I speak, being as I am a Galilean, and they're from Gaul, where we're known for saying, you know, fuck shit. I wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire, that kind of thing. Um, Because we don't take shit from anybody. Never did. We have Gaul. Cheers. <laughs> but, you know, those people who have complained for the past five years telling me I'm not me because I act like a Galilean, they all now support Donald Trump. So I tell you, you wouldn't know Jesus Christ if he grabbed you by the pussy. Cheers. <laughs>